Craft Tube Craft Tube. My name is Tia and you've reached my channel here at Calm Creations on YouTube and this is my little space <clears throat> where I share all my crafty bits and pieces and things that I've been up to, um, mostly cross stitch. Um, so I haven't filmed for a wee while which is why it's taken me 10 times to try and push the record button. Um, I'm going to share with you today all sorts of different bits and pieces and um, and what I've been up to. So it is Wednesday the 9th of December 2020. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. I'm on my second coffee and I've got all sorts to show you. So I'll start off by um welcoming you all thank you very much uh if you've just joined me for the first time and if you're uh, a returning viewer then thanks for coming back um yeah so what's been happening here uh not a lot life-wise and i know you don't really want to hear about that but um craft wise so Every Friday night, um, a group of us get together on Zoom and craft the night away. Um, and this year we did a an ornament swap. So I thought I'd share with you all the goodies that I got from um, the lovely ladies. Hello, girls. Um, and I'll go through and share with you what I received. I've been so spoiled. You just wouldn't believe it right sorry okay so my first ornament is look at this it is absolutely gorgeous now this is from Jenny so I got that little ornament and it's a little pillow with a little hanger so that is beautiful <clears throat> I've got a couple of skeins of DMC. You can never have enough black and white DMC. It's a lovely card. Now the pattern for that ornament is by Whistle Stop Stitcher on Etsy. And that's her Christmas series. So that is that. And then I got this. Look at this. How beautiful is this project bag? absolutely love it i've filled it already and i will show you what's in it um after right so that is the lovely jenny thank you jenny i just love all of it uh next we have um gail so i've got this lovely postcard vintage christmas bells so that and this is a collection by pixellove.com so that's from Gail I got some little Harry Potter booty bots oh and the parcel from Gail as well there was some chubba chubs but they're all gone um yeah so birdie bots um jelly beans my god look at this ornament it is absolutely divine well they all are Right, look at that. It is so pretty. It's all beaded. Can you see that? Oh, it's getting a bit blown out. It's all beautifully finished on the back. So that's from Gail. Thank you, Gail. And I got some mint chocolate chip extra. Can't wait to try that. So that's that. And it all came in this lovely little Christmas tin, which will come in very, very handy. So that is those. And then also from Gail, I got this. Oh, wait till you see this. Look at this. Gorgeous piece of fabric. And this is hand dyed by... Um, her name's craft her etsy store i think is crafted by juliet and it's all orange and delicious goodness 
so I've already picked out my chart that I'm gonna stitch on that which I will tell you about after so that is from the lovely Gail then from Nicole put all these in here I'm just hoping that they're not all gonna fly off from Nicole I got a lovely little tin and inside the tin I've got a skein of orange orange floss and it is by Cosmo and it's their seasons range so that's and it's variegated it's very very pretty I got a little tube of Christmas tropical lip balm I got a counting pin look at that this is just gonna be the best gadget ever so that's my counting pin and I got a needle minder and it says stitch oh I've got another needle minder oh it's on a project here hang on let me grab it <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna find it see I'm already using it I knew this would happen a little tea tea for tea isn't that cute right so that's that now i don't know where the back went oh there it is there it is it's all right oh, right so those that little part parts from nicole but wait there's more let's put those away so i don't lose them right. that. and then i got this little box it's orange. Can you see a theme happening here? Orange, maybe? Okay. And in here is my ornament. Look at that. Tea for tea. And it's got a little clasp on the top. So it's either a scissor fob or an ornament. But I've been hanging it on my Lowry stand so that I can look at it. It is so super cute. And then I got a lovely Shakura, Shakura stone bracelet. And they're all in my lovely little orange box. And then a beautiful Christmas card. So that's from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. I really do love it all. And the last parcel I got was from, now Gail is on Floss Tube. Gail is Gail Phillips on Floss Tube. And she's Miss Stitch on Instagram. And Nicole is Divinely Design Studios on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And Jenny um, is, oh, is that Jenny? underscore stitches on Instagram I think yes and then the last parcel I got is from Michelle and Michelle is shell underscore trails on Instagram she doesn't have um, floss tube we're trying to make her do a floss tube because we think she'd be great and funny absolutely hysterical it would just be so entertaining but anyway from the lovely Michelle I got a beautiful little charm pack of 40 little fabric squares so I'm going to find I've seen these used in lots of quilting tutorials and um, I've, I haven't got one obviously I could make a whole bunch but it's not the same so I'm gonna make something really really special with that and then I got um, Meg's soap. It's a big one. I've got my glasses on. Um, chocolate decadence. It's soap. Oh. oh, I wish you could smell it. You just want to eat it. Isn't that just so cool? 
and then I showed one of my daughters my old older daughter not the oldest the next one down and she said where did you get that from she said I've been watching videos on TikTok on how they make those they make a big loaf and they've got this special thing that they cut all the slices and I said it was a gift um, from a friend so that's the soap so that's that one and then I got a piece of quilting fabric now this was hand dyed by Michelle look at that see there's that color again isn't that so cool so I'm going to be making something special with that too so that I've got these um, gorgeous little projects from from Michelle now I also got some hand dyed floss aren't they pretty and they're by Mo's No sell on Etsy and they are baby sea turtle which is all yellows and greens and then that one's Tamatoa which is pinks and purples and then this one is Anita's which is pinks and purples and blues so they're very pretty. I'll have to find something special for those too. And I got a little weeny tiny hank of silks for you. Now this is my first um, silks um, that I've ever had. Um, so it feels so soft. So I'm going to have to, I'm dying to have a go with it. Um, and see what I can... I don't even know how to use it but anyway that's that's another problem we will um, face and then this gorgeous Christmas mug rug oh isn't that cool look at that it is so cool and it all came in this beautiful little organza bag and the parcel just smelt so delicious um, it smelt like chocolate decadence. So those are all my little gifts that I got from the girls for our Christmas swap. Got those there. Hopefully they don't fall off. Uh, right. I'll use that. Put my coffee on it. Now, <clears throat> what have I been up to? Um, stitchy wise. So I've been doing customer finishes. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I do finishes for customers. So I've done quite a few. Um, I'll insert some photos um, at the end, maybe, of all the different ones that I've been um, that I've finished. So um, I thought I'd do a bit of a, a whip parade. I've never done one before, um, and show you everything so you might want to go and put up a tent um get comfortable get your camping chair and sit back and um enjoy the ride or you can turn it off so it's up to you so let's get into that shall we okay before i start that i'll show you um a couple of things i've made um before I go into the whip. So in October we went to the Brisbane Cross Stitch Retreat and we were given a goodie bag and in the goodie bag was um I think I showed it on a previous floss tube but we were given a chart and all the supplies to make a biscornu. So I've always always wanted to make a biscornu and it was on my list of goals to make one this year. And so I made the Biscoe knew that we were the chart and but I changed I used the the fabric that was in the um, in the pack but I changed the floss and um, and the beads so look it's my first Biscoe knew and it's so teeny tiny I wish I could 
to show you in comparison to but I put some orange beads on it and an orange button and then I didn't stitch the back of it but I put my own um, little message and it says Tia Brisbane cross stitch retreat 2020 so that's the back but I just absolutely love it so that's my first Biscorny anyway that's that now in my I did a stitch with me for my Chatelaine and um trying to figure out how I was going to do the beading. I'd seen trees a little stitch had this little lid thing and it had this like a rubbery mat type. I think it was rubber. Um in it for her beads when she was doing her beading. But Gail suggested that I um I could make my own um little bead tray. I do ha I do, do beading and I had a bead mat but obviously that's for a, a flat surface but she suggested that I get an embroidery hoop and some felt and um, put the felt into the embroidery hoop and um, yeah then it's got a little lip so I made using my beading mat I mean it's not pretty at all but it's functional so that's using the proper beading um, fabric stuff. So that is my little bead tray for my Chatelaine. So that's that. Right, let's get into some projects. Now, actually, first, um, with some of my finishes, I received a box of um, finishes from a customer and she sent me some stitchy kindness. So, um, I'll show you those. So I've got Sampler here by La Di Da, which is this really cool little bunny. Absolutely love him. And I thought he might have a name, but he hasn't got a name. So that's that. And then I got Silver Creek Samplers, um, Izzy Deacon. <clears throat> so I will definitely be um, stitching those. And these pieces are also in the box um, for me to finish for here. So she's she stitched them and sent them to me to finish. So. That was really, really lovely. I do appreciate that. It was such a nice surprise. So those are those. Right. Whoops. Are you ready? Have you got your overnight bag? Let's go. Okay. Take two of the whip parade. Now these are in no particular order. They are how I'm pulling them out of the box. Um personal disclaimer they may contain traces of chocolate um, but once they're washed that's fine right let's get into it there's a bit okay night walk down by the blue flower and this is on 40 count vintage country mocha we actually say mocha so it's vintage country mocha um my first time on 40 count so that is that one small start uh, sea sampler by arena berber on etsy so i've made a bit of progress on this one i was doing a bit for Whip Wranglers, I think it was, for a challenge. So that's that one. That's 18 count white Ada. Spring by the Cricut Collection. And that's on a piece of 18 count hand dyed by me Ada. 
um, right, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow on a piece of 18 count hand dyed by me Ada and it's in a pink mottled pink colour. That's that one. Strawberry Fields Forever on a piece of 32 count um, cream ivory even weave. Uh, so that's Strawberry Fields Forever Blackbird Designs. Um, Australia by Pixel Stitch. That's on a piece of 14 count white Ada. <clears throat> Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow. And that is on a piece of tea dyed 18 count Ada. By me. Um... Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. The Beatles, oh, that's so terrible. Um, Abbey Road. That's on a piece of 18 count black Ada. Oh, now this one I need to show you the chart. Uh, I'll put a picture in. That one there is it's called Lighthouse in a Bottle and that's the top of the cork but I'll put a picture in so I'll move that over there there we go um and that's on a piece of 18 count white Ada Pandemic Long Dog Samplers and that's on a piece of 18 count Hand dyed fabric by Crafty Leany. That's that one. A good marriage, Lizzie Kate. That is on a piece of hand dyed by me, uh, 18 count Ada. Uh, this is B Queen B Pin Cushion by Heartstring Samplery on a piece of unknown fabric. Uh, Disney Mickey Head. So I've done Dumbo, and I don't know who that other guy is. This is going to be in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head and they're all different Disney characters. And Dumbo's eyes are black Mill Hill seed beads, so all the eyes will be seed beads. And that's on a piece of 18 count hand dyed by me fabric. Welcome by the Cricut Collection on a piece of hand dyed by me. 18 count Ada. I don't know if there's any format to doing whip parades. So I'm just showing you and trying to tell you the details. So that's that. Um, another one by Arena Verba. And this is Flower Quaker. So that's that there. On a piece of 18 count pink Ada. Red Riding Hood by Soda Stitch. So I call these the Russian Disney dolls. So they're the Babushka dolls. Um, and this is Red Riding Hood. So I haven't got too much more to do on here. I've done some of the back stitch. Isn't she cute? 
so that is her that's on a piece of random 14 count ada um beach cottage by country cottage needleworks how cute is that little whale weather vane that's that and that is on a piece of 32 count even weave the beginnings of march cottage by country cottage needleworks on a piece of 18 count ada This is A Tale As Old As Time by, let me find it, uh, Rocking Horse CS on Etsy. So this is actually a, a cushion cover um, from Target here in Australia. So there's the full cover. So once that's done, I'll be able to put the cushion in. So that is that one. We have um, Home of a Needleworker, Country Cottage Needleworks, or Little House Needleworks, one or the other. That is that one, that's coming along nicely. Um, this is Stitchonomy's 2020 Halloween um, sale. On a piece of 18 count hand dyed by me, Ada. So that's getting there. We have, oh, there's some, some in the bag. This one is um, Emerald City by Al Forest Embroidery. It's a free pattern over on their website. So that's come up. I've done the Tin Man. I'm on to page three, I think. Is it page three? No. Yes. Page three. So that's that one. Now, this is... So some of these are still in frames and hoops and Q-snaps and however else they are. So this one is Mini Night Cafe. It's a Heaven and Earth Designs chart and it, it was one of the ones, one of the free ones that Michelle um, a few months ago gave away a whole heap of free hay charts and this was one of those ones. And this is by Leonard Aframoff. I can't wait to, I've only done the tree, um, trying to do all the black first. Can't wait to get into some of the colour because this is a, the colours in his artwork are just beautiful. Right, um, World Travel Bookshelf by Heaven and Earth Designs. So that one's coming along nicely, you can see the little... So this is India, um, and I think that's the first full page, length of the full page, and that's the first row of the top of the bookshelf, and there's going into the second row. Um, so that's the girl, and up there, I think that there's like a hoodie balloon. I think there's a couple of hoodie balloons across the top. So um, this I've put in for... Um, one of the challenges for next year um, to try and really get some stitches into it. Now this is a new start which I started on the 1st of December um, and I'm only working on it when I watch Nicole's Stitch With Me. So she's doing 12 Days of Christmas 
um, she's doing a stitch along a stitch with me every day and so I only work on this while I'm watching her um, stitch with me she's stitching Holiday Quaker by Leela's Le studio um, and I am stitching Snow Queen by Mirabelia this is my first Mirabelia chart and I am loving it this is so beautiful so this is all the, the Snow Queen's dress that black dark well not black that, that darker line coming through here the reins um, that's part of the reindeer that's part of his like saddle blanket well, not saddle but you know so that's coming along so nicely love it so that's snow queen um we have and that's on a piece of 18 count cream ada this is next one is oh just tighten that so it's not all wobbly this is shores of hawk run hollow carriage house samplings and this is a stitch along for gail's birthday so this is what is it uh, gail's b day sale i think it is um on instagram so that's coming along i've done the anchor and i'm starting it and working up here in the compass so that is that one yeah hopefully my pile doesn't get too high and then you can't see anything uh next is oh my favorite oh just love this one so much you know how you get a chart and you just want to stitch on it forever and just not stop you probably know which one i'm talking about any guesses okay so this is crosswords long dog sampler so i'm working up along here i've done a couple of these a couple more of these trees and then that'll be page two finished it's only six pages so Hopefully, I'll have this finished. So this was a sale with um, Erin from Two Martini Stitcher on Instagram. It's Long Dog Leap Day Sale, I think. And the idea was to do a long dog chart and starting it on the leap year, which was this year in when's leap? In February. Um, and you've got four years to... I want it finished before I don't want it. But yeah, I just want it finished because I love it. I want it on the wall. So that is crossword. And that's on 18 count Ada. And I'm using DMC 106 variegated. Uh, what else have we got in here? This is a pretty pathetic start. But this will be... Um, this purchase was enabled by Gail. Gail is an enabler. Gail shares with us lots of beautiful charts, sales, haul, and yes. So this was this purchase was enabled by Gail. You're not going to be able to tell anything by what it is. It's just a whole bunch of e-crew stitches. So this is a Heaven and Earth Designs. This is a Haid. And it is called Mini uh, Stars and... Hang on, I can tell you. It is called Mini Sun and Stars by Katerina somebody or other. I can't pronounce her surname, but it's a artwork by Katerina. I'll put it down below um and it is um carl drogo from game of thrones um so yes that's that one and that's on a piece of 
18 count blue Ada. Right. This is a, a mess. Hang on, let me try and right. Okay, this is another full coverage piece, Heaven and Earth Designs. This is called Mini Nap Time by Randall Spangler. And it is two little baby dragons asleep in teacups with cookies and it's just so super cute. Um, and it's only a relatively small one. So that is being done on 25 count. Um, easy grid and I am doing, I haven't got my glasses on, it looks like a full cross, two strands. Full cross. There we go. So that's that. Oh, look at that pile. <laughs> okay. Now, next. Now I've got, I've worked it out. I've got nine full coverage pieces. Um, which is a bit crazy, I know. But, you know, YOLO, right? This is another Heaven and Earth Designs. It is um, Outlander. And... It's a circle shape. I've got my Outlander needle minder. And I'm coming down here. So it's all greys. So the chart is all black and white except clear in the middle. She's um, in, in full colour. But Jamie's on one side and Frank's on the other. So it's called Clear Jamie. Jamie, Clear and Frank. Um, so yes. That's that one. Ha! Ah, look at that. Right, okay, let's see if they can balance and not fall on the floor. What else have we got? Hang on. Now, these two, oh, I haven't ironed them. So, I think that's just about it after these. That's not too bad for all of my whips. Right, this one is Aurora Cabin. By dimensions so that's coming along really nicely I did a whole heap of work on that on Sunday so I filled in the top bedroom and this part of the bottom veranda I'd already done the logs um, can you see me in the window that's where I'm that's my room that's where I'll be living Aurora Cabin. And then I think the last one is okay, this is a cell with Michelle on Instagram, Michelle underscore trails and Jenny in stitches, I think. And this is, I need to move that so I can show you. One moment, please. Stay there. Right. This is Cozy Cove by Dimensions Gold, but the artwork is by Charles Wysocki. I'm loving how that's coming along. So that's that. I think that's everything. 18 count. That was in the kit. That's what was, um, yeah. All right. So I do believe that's everything. Well, all my whips. Um, let's put that back up there for a sec. I don't think I've got, I'll just have a quick look at my notes. I do have bits of haul, but it's everywhere and, oh, haha, <laughs> right. My goals, so in my Jenny bag, um, my goals for 2020, um, 
was to make up a school new oh, I've got it written down I should have bought it in um but I started my first chatelaine and I got evening in the park put all the beads in here um and it is absolutely beautiful so this is my chatelaine oh on here, get it together. Can you see that? Oh, oh. There's some beads in the middle. Don't know if you can see them. This is, and I've put my needle minder up in that that corner, top left, so that I know which is the top because most chatelaines are mandala type chatelaines, meaning they're symmetrical. Um. So, for all my stitches to go the same way, I need to know. I've written it on the top of the fabric too, which is the top. So, that is my chatelaine. I've done a little bit on it. Um, I filmed a, a stitch with me last week, but I haven't edited it or uploaded it yet. So, that will be coming very soon. So, that sits um, in my genie bag. I think my beautiful Jenny bag deserves, I don't want to catch that bit of metallic in there, um, deserves a beautiful project to go with my beautiful bag. So, I think that's everything. Um, I'll try and put that down there without it all toppling over. Um, yeah, so plans. I've joined a few um, challenge groups for next year. Um, so that'll be good. Get some good stitches in. Um, what else? Um, oh, <laughs> at the end of each month, Nicole from Devan Lee Design Studio, she has a... <laughs> a um, a sit and stitch and it's open um you know it's once a month and it's it's just a hoot there's you know it's very global there's people from all over the planet um but on sunday the end of november um i was a bit late getting in um spencer was here and i was just waiting for Mariah to come and pick him up and when I got in there was a few people already in and um, then the day travelled on and um, Amy from Creativity by Gidge popped in and um, and in that time some had left and, and then Darren from Dizzy Stitcher he came back and I missed him the first time I wasn't there but he, he Oh, hang on. I don't know. Um, and then when Darren came back, um, Amy was there, and Amy's reaction to seeing Darren <laughs> was just hysterical. She had such a fangirl moment, and she threw her hands up in the air. Oh my God, it's Darren, Dizzy Stitcher. But she thought she was on mute, which was the, the funniest part. So, um, Hi Amy, hi Darren, if you're watching. Um, yeah, so it you know, gave us all, all a good giggle. And it was like she'd seen a, a superstar. So that was very entertaining. Um, so that's once a month. Um, what else? We've had the release of the Down the Rabbit Hole magazine that's um, gone off. So if you're interested in that, I'll put all the details below. Our first issue um, is available for purchase on our website. Um, $6.95 Australian and you get lots of wonderful charts and information. So in the magazine is a really, really beautiful um, Aussie Christmas chart and it's got all little baby Australian animals in it and 
on the 13th of December, so today's the 9th in a couple of days time, on our Down the Rabbit Hole magazine, I'm going to be doing a stitch with me and stitch that chart. So if you want to go and buy our magazine to get the chart, you can. And then if you want to stitch along with me, then I will be doing that. Um, I'm going to do it up till Christmas. Um, so stitch every day on it. And um, that'll be on our Down the Rabbit Hole magazine YouTube channel. So go and subscribe to that, hit that like button and um, subscribe and hit all notifications so that you don't miss any of our um, content that we put on there. We'll be doing lots of updates and um, all sorts of bits and pieces. So the chart is by um, Frog Cottage Design, so that's Deb. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful chart. So I'm going to be stitching that because my little grandson, he's half Australian um so that will be for him um yeah so that'll be for him um now what else <coughs> um who have i been watching oh i found on youtube a stitcher in the uk her name is lynn and she's lincoln Lan lancashire stitcher and Lynn just stitches the most beautiful, beautiful charts. Um, I love all of the um, charts that she does. Um, so I will link her floss tube below. She's only up to number eight, I think. But she's beautiful to watch. And she shares all her, all her stitching and bits and pieces. So I've been watching her. And then last night, I found, or yesterday, I found... Um, so I joined Full Coverage Fanatics, which is a Facebook group for, um, stitchers who stitch full coverage pieces, and they have lots and lots of challenges on there. Um, and there was a lady that I saw on there, and she has a floss tube that I watched, and her name is, her name's Kim. Kim Hollenbeck and she's under Kim Hollenbeck on floss tube I think and <coughs> excuse me and she is oh Spartan Stitcher I think on Instagram I haven't found her Instagram yet um but she does lots of lovely pieces too and I've watched a few of hers last night and I think she's ex- um, military for ex air force but her husband i think is still in the armed forces um in america and so at the end of each episode she has story time and she tells you a story about um their lives um on an air force base and, and stories about um you know their experiences in the air force and um, yesterday <laughs> she had her, her parrot sitting beside her and um, I just about died. He he wasn't very comfortable in that room. He, he wasn't used to that room. So she's just um, bringing him in and teaching him, you know, getting him used to that part of their home. And he flew. <laughs> And I just, she got a fright and I got a fright and, um, but yeah, he's a lovely bird and she's giving him toys and treats and, um, teaching him at the same time. So, um, yeah, she's really, re the stories are very, very interesting. Um, I enjoyed listening to that. Um, my brother was in the Air Force, one of my brothers. Um, so, um, yeah, it was interesting to hear. Um, you know about their missions and, and things that they they do so so those are my two shout outs um, oh, I didn't bring that in never mind that's for another day but I think that's about it from me so I hope you all have a very very merry and safe Christmas um, hopefully I'll be back before then but if not um stay safe and um enjoy time with your loved ones over christmas eat lots 
Um, I'm going to be making a trifle this year. I've never made one before, so I'll be um, channeling the inner chef um, and my mother-in-law on how to make a trifle. And then I, I told the kids, that I, the girls, um, that I was going to make a, a trifle this year for Christmas. As I sh and, and, and they were horrified. They said, well, what are you replacing? as in our other traditional foods. And I said, I'm not replacing anything, I'm making an addition. So they they were okay um, once they realized that I wasn't replacing anything. Um, so um, school's finished now for the year. So they're on holidays for six or seven weeks. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, the weather is certainly heating up here. Although today's a little bit cooler than it has been. Um, so, yes, until next time, thank you very much for spending time with me and having a look through my pile of whips. Um, and I think I've only, I'm not even going to count them, I think, yeah. Um, and we will see you. So, don't forget to head over to Down the Rabbit Hole magazine. Um, and I will see you over there for a stitch with me on Sunday the 13th of December. So it'll be 12 days up till Christmas, Christmas Day. Um, and if you want the magazine, head over to our website and you can buy the magazine. And the chart is in the magazine. It is also the featured um, cover photo. And Deb is also, um, she was our featured designer for our first issue. So um, that will be happening on the 13th. So anyway, I will talk to you again soon and thank you very much for um, hanging about this long. If you've made it, good for you. <laughs> you deserve a medal and I will see you all again soon. Take care. Bye now.